done. Three days with yeah. these guys. Fuck yeah. Yeah, yeah guys. Woo. Fucking killed it. Yeah. They're pretty good. They're pretty freaking good. <laughs> we finished with a full day of vocals with this guy and he totally nailed it. Fuck yeah. Give it up for our boy Sam. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, enough of them. Let's go see what we did. <laughs> Alright, we literally just finished day three. It's kind of a total wreck in here. Best part is. We tracked entirely live. Kit, it's kind of a mess because we've been doing vocal overdubs and we had the bass, bass reamping today, but we actually tracked live. These guys spent so much time rehearsing the pre-production that they were able to do it and they sounded fantastic, man. Great tones, great players, really cool. So here's our setup. Over here, we had one bass station. None of this was out here initially during tracking. We did bass uh, reamping today, but we had one amp or guitar player set up there. That was Tony's rig. We have this set up here, which we ended up ended up with the 2000 today with a 5150 pedal going into it, and then just a 57 and a 4047 in the ISO. So we could still do some overdubs if we needed to, which we actually, I think we only ended up punching one thing in. The kit, well here, we'll get to that in a second. Sorry, I'm spinning around here. All right, Rob was over here, also going through main tone coming from the 5150, but then back here in my new ISO booth that is slowly getting built, we have it's really dark back here. Let me see if I get some light. There we go. We have his amp set up back here. He's running a PV VK100, but like I said, it's the 5150 driving it. Also on this amp is a 57 and a 4047. And this is the new ISO. I've just got a few channels running back here now. Two or four mic lines, then I have two tie lines in the wall and two speaker lines in case we wanted to have the head out there. The other patch panel is there. And this works really well as an ISO. And once again, gives us enough separation so we can, if we needed to punch something in, we could. We didn't have to at all. And the drums. Sorry, drums. The bass right here, this was our setup. We ended up just running all the main tracks through the Countryman. And then today, we reamped with the Mark bass with an OCD in front of it. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I love that combo. And the Mini Brute Clean. And that actually had the Delphos 2 on it, but we used the Delphos 2 for some of the vocal overdubs. And then all the lead vocals were done here with the SM7B. Now, let's get to the big kahuna here. This was the most fun because Alex, it's metal, but he did not want modern metal sounds. We wanted something old school kind of thing, but thick and fat. So he brought in his Yamaha. We ended up pulling all the bottom heads off of everything and the Rezo head, as you can see here. And then he has good old fashioned CS dots on the top. Some control sounds, man. and. It's instant power slave. <laughs> it was really, really awesome. So inside the kick, good old fashioned ATM 250 with a Roswell Mini K. PR 30s on all the toms. That tom actually had to take that mic off to go on the bass. I only have three of those, I need more. Then the overheads did something a little different on this because of his setup. I ran a pair of Mini Ks in ORTF but I kind of put them where I normally do my space pair. So you can see, well, I'm not making anybody sick with this. You can kind of see where they're running on the side. So it's still splitting the kit this way, but the way his spread work where his hi-hat and stuff was out so far, I didn't like the sound of the space pair, so we went with the uh, ORTF and it worked really, really well. My go-to combo that I've had lately on the snare, let me zoom in a little bit here. Sorry, we just finished the third long day. Everybody's tired. We just bounced rough mixes and I'm gonna get through this. Audio Technica Pro 63 with a cap off and a Mike Parts SD 
think 84 is what it's called. And then I sew them together on the console. Now, two things I did a little different this time. Well, actually, just one thing different, one I kind of do, is I hung one of these red 12 shotgun shell mics over the kick and snare. And it was cool. It just adds... It's omni, but it was so thick sounding, it was really cool. And then I put another one, you can barely see it right there, in front of the kit. And it's the same distance from the snare to the, as the overheads are. And it just filled things in right nice. And then I had the good old 4080s in the middle of the room, which I they're not in their place, I had to move them when we were doing bass. And then back there on the wall is a pair of Roswell Pro Audio Delphos. So we had, Bass over here, going direct. We had Tony on this side, but his amp over there in that ISO. And then this guitar right here was Rob. And we have his guitar back in that ISO. And then that allowed us to track live and they did a really good job. Metal with four guys playing live is pretty freaking cool. And then we reamped the bass. So we just got a nice, good, clean, fat DI sound, and we spent a little time today dialing in the bass tone, and then we saved the vocals for last. Really cool, excited uh, for this to get out. The band's name is Argus Row. Go check them out. They're cool guys. Let's go check on them and make sure they're not stealing the console. Guys, fantastic freaking job! Yeah, yeah through the setup. <laughs> Where the heck? Woo. Website? What is it? It's argusrow.com. Uh, Argus you can Argus follow us everywhere. Instagram yeah, at argusrow, Argus Twitter. Sam's ready for bed. Yeah, he's, he's <laughs> worked really hard today. Yeah, uh, so follow all of our stuff. Just go to our website and just sign up for the newsletter. And yeah, yeah, we'll all the info's out. there on the website. So. Or follow us on Instagram, same thing, there's a link. So. In other words, go follow them. <laughs> They're freaking cool. <laughs> All right, last part of the setup here was the board. Everything through El Trident. That means the Trident in Spanish. I've been teaching these guys Spanish. Oh, so dude, we, I still don't know. So yeah. much. These guys did. They're getting I better. Did. Still a little iffy. <laughs> <laughs> I consider myself bilingual. <laughs> <laughs> but everything's through the Trident. The kick. And snare, the only thing that went crazy, which was Day King as an expander, 542 Rupert Neve tape emulator into the A range EQs, which are freaking awesome. And then they both ended up over here on the DBX 160Xs. Then the room mics, 4080s through the Overstayer, and the Delphos, I think, through the Tone Luxes. And other than that, a little compression on the bass, got some WA76. And Day King, and then the vocal was Day King into the hairball. Blue stripe, pretty freaking cool. Anyway, that's it. These guys are tired. Sam's looking at me like, shut the fuck up. I want to go home. Uh-oh, hold on. Peanut gallery approves. <laughs> Google it. Google that shit. You won't find anything, because we just made it up. All right, guys. These guys kick ass. Woohoo!